this episode, let's discover what the electricians, plumbers, sprinkler and fire protection, fire alarm technicians, millwrights, and HVAC crew do. First up, the electricians. The slab crew is up first. These workers install electrical boxes and conduits onto the slab and wall formwork before the concrete is poured. They read the electrical and the architectural drawings that detail exactly where to position them. This allows them to later install the light fixtures and switches and receptacles that will be installed into these solid concrete ceilings and walls. Next, as the building rises and the steel studs are installed by the drywall trade, the rough-in crew keeps pace with the progress and installs boxes and conduits on these walls and ceilings for these fixtures to later be installed to. They run the conduits from box to box and back to the unit panel. Also at this early stage, the rough-in crew continues making progress wherever possible by pulling and trimming the necessary wires through the conduits to have them ready for future connections. This is all detailed to them on the electrical drawings prepared by an electrical engineer. They also get the temporary lighting up and running in the hallways and in the stairwells. Another major task is also underway in the lower levels of the building. The more experienced electricians are working on the power distribution system. This is where the power comes into the building and then travels through transformers and switchgear. From here, Electricity is run up through the building into the electrical closets on every floor. As well, this is when the emergency generator is installed and tied into the electrical system. Making our way back upstairs, once the masonry crew builds the electrical closets on each floor, the power distribution panels are installed. From here, the distribution crew runs the power feeds from the electrical closets to each of the condo units. Once the windows are installed, the electricians can install the outdoor receptacles on the balconies. Now, after the drywall work is finished and a coat of primer is applied, the finishing crews can start their work. Typically, one crew works in the hallways and stairwells, and the other crew works inside the condo units. Let's take a quick look at the crew working inside the units. This is where you will find the apprentices. This crew installs the light fixtures, the light switches and receptacles, as well as the ceiling fans, cooking fans, and the lighted mirrors. Now, the hallway crew. They install the light fixtures and the exit signs and the light fixtures in the stairwells. On the ground floor, you can see here that the finishing crew has the task of installing these very interesting light fixtures in the lobby. Following the concrete structure of the building as it rises, the plumbers are right behind, basically installing all of the components for the supply and disposal of water, starting with what's called the drain risers. The drain risers form a complete system that carries the wastewater from the sinks, showers and toilets down and out to the sanitary sewer under the street. The plumbers here are following the drawings and details prepared by the mechanical engineers. Education and experience is required to be a plumber so that they can read the mechanical drawings and properly perform the work so the system can function as designed. All of the components in the drain system must be installed at a certain height and all of the pipes must be installed on a certain slope for the water to drain. Next, the plumbers install the water supply lines. The plumbers cut them to length, prep them by sanding the ends, and then solder them together for a durable and watertight seal. In the lower levels of the building, the plumbers are busy with a lot of work, including the boilers, the hot water tanks, various pumps and valves, and supplying water to the many pieces of mechanical equipment throughout the building. The steam fitter is a classification of plumber that builds the piping that will carry water, steam, fluids, gases, chemicals, and fuel to flow under pressure. So basically, when you see natural gas or diesel powered equipment or the use of compressed air or boilers, that piping is built and installed by a steam fitter. After the tiling is finished and the sink and bathroom cabinets are installed, 
the plumbers return to install the plumbing fixtures. This involves installing the sinks and taps, the toilets, and the tub and shower controls. A specialty branch of work that plumbers do is called the fire protection system, also commonly called the sprinklers. The plumbers run the main sprinkler water lines early during construction. Devices like these, called flow switches that detect when water is flowing, are tied into and alert the fire alarm system. As these lines travel throughout all areas of the building and enter a condo unit, the pipe material changes to this specialty orange colored pipe. The installers follow the installation design provided to them on the fire protection or sprinkler drawings. These branch lines are roughed in before drywall, and these locations have been calculated to provide full coverage to all areas of the building. After drywall and paint, the sprinkler crew returns to install the sprinkler heads. These are called concealed heads because they stay hidden until the temperature rises to a certain point. Then they pop out of the wall or ceiling. At this time, in the hallways and common areas, they also install the fire hoses in the fire hose cabinets. For those of you who are detail-oriented and looking for precise and interesting work, the fire alarm system is also installed by the electricians. Conduits are run earlier by the slab crew or rough-in crew, and they follow the design on the engineer's drawings. Once the dusty work is finished and the walls are primed, these workers begin to install the pull stations, heat detectors, smoke detectors, and carbon monoxide detectors. They also install strobe lights and other devices and panels that make up this highly specialized system. The electricians in the fire alarm crew also make connections so that the fire alarm system communicates with the elevators. As well, this crew connects the fire alarm system into the sprinkler system so that it can detect when water is flowing from a sprinkler head or fire hose. This is very rewarding work for people who enjoy attention to detail and who are willing to learn about these specialized systems. Construction millwrights are industrial mechanics who handle, move, and install industrial machinery and mechanical equipment. When there are large and or heavy pieces of equipment such as generators, tanks, boilers, and transformers, the millwrights are the experts at handling this. They read the drawings and diagrams, view the site conditions, and determine a work procedure. From there, they use their knowledge and experience to assemble, adjust, and align pieces of equipment. The HVAC crew installs the systems that supply and exhaust air throughout the building. This crew includes sheet metal workers, HVAC technicians, and controls and building automation technicians. One of the first steps for the HVAC technicians is to install one of these, a fan coil, in each condo unit. These fan coils are connected to a system of pipes carrying hot water to heat the air and to another set of pipes carrying cold water to cool the air. The sheet metal workers assemble and install a system of ductwork like this to carry the hot or cool air to each room throughout a condo unit. To exhaust the humid air from the bathrooms, the cooking aromas from the kitchen, and the hot humid air from the clothes dryer, the sheet metal crew installs exhaust ductwork in each unit to connect to the outside through these fittings called window boxes. The HVAC crew must be able to read and understand all of the symbols and notes on the mechanical engineer's drawings for the size of all of the ducts and all the fittings that are specified. In the rest of the building, the HVAC crew follows the drawings and installs ductwork and various kinds of HVAC equipment to supply air to the hallways, the stairwells, and to the underground parking, etc. After the drywall work and the painting is done, it's usually an apprentice that returns to each room to finish up by installing one of the different kind of grills that are specified. The controls and building automation technicians install the thermostats, sensors, and controls so that they can start and test all of the equipment and systems. For more videos and resources, go to www.boltonline.org.